Welcome to the virtual 2020 IPAC Unity Forum. We will have a Q&A with the candidates one question at a time. We will start with the race for 7th District of Georgia for U.S. Congress. Here is the first question. What experiences have prepared you to be a credible legislator involving relatively complex domestic and international issues that our country faces? Hi, I'm Carolyn Bordeaux, and I'm running for Georgia's 7th Congressional District. I have spent my life in public service. I got my undergraduate degree from Yale and took the train from New Haven, Connecticut to Washington, D.C., where I worked for several members of Congress and a U.S. Senator. I worked on legislation there to expand access to public health centers, to expand our food programs for low-income people, to uh, expand access to transit and transportation options uh, around the country. After working in Washington, I uh, went back, I got a master's and a PhD in public administration with a focus in public finance, and came to Georgia in 2003 to teach at the Andrew Young School of Policy Studies at Georgia State. While there, I took a leave uh, from 2007 to 2010 to work with the state legislature to balance the budget during the Great Recession, uh, the greatest fiscal crisis the state had faced since the Great Depression and until this day when they face an even more serious crisis. Um, I was honored uh, by the legislature for significant service to the state of Georgia for my work in helping with the budget. And then I went back, I founded the Center for State and Local Finance and have generally worked on educating the next generation of people going into public service in this state and in this country. I am running for office um, because I think everybody needs quality, affordable health care, um, and because I'm deeply disturbed by the direction that President Trump is taking this country. I ran back in 2018 and came within 433 votes of winning the seat, and now I am circling back to finish the job. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and Ramadan Mubarak. I hope you and your family are safe during this time. I really appreciate IPAC making sure that the community is informed about these important issues. So the first question I'll answer is, what experiences have helped you prepare yourself to be a credible legislator involving hugely complex domestic and international issues that our country faces? So I've lived through many of the issues that face our country and have had to navigate their complexity as a routine part of my life. So as a young woman of color, I've engaged with racism my entire life. And rather than retreat from this ugly face, I've engaged with it. And so I've sought to understand the roots of this hate. And as a daughter of Bangladeshi immigrants, I've witnessed the struggles my family faced in their home nation that drove them to come to America. So rather than fear the rest of the world, I have embraced our role as a leader in it. And as a Muslim woman, I have been confronted with the contradictions of America's you know, profession of peace and tolerance, and yet its role in destabilizing the Middle East. And rather than condemn our actions, I have sought to reform them. Now, I've lived the working class experience most of my life, and I understand the struggles that I have faced are not unique, but are repeated throughout our nation in millions of families, both like and unlike mine. And I've seen firsthand people in my community falling through the cracks in the system. The difficulties that face ordinary people in balancing their lives with broad community and national interests cannot be underestimated. I'm a veteran of the United States Air Force, and in the Air Force, I served as an intelligence officer who studied East Asia and the Middle East. Not unlike the best of our lawmakers, my responsibility was to understand complex, volatile, and often dangerous situations around the world. I am also a sitting member of Georgia State Senate and was chosen to lead the Gwinnett County delegation in my first term in office. I have worked both within my party and across the aisle on a wide range of issues and as a state senator fought Georgia's extreme abortion ban and voted to expand Medicaid in our state. I'm Dr. Rashid Malik. I've been involved with uh, politics since my student life. I worked as the chairperson for Asian American for Dole in 1995 during Mr. Bob Dole presidential campaign. Later on, I founded Malik College and I ran that college for 17 years as CEO of the company. Recently, I founded two, helped in founding two healthcare business 
and they are running successfully. In 2009, I joined the Democratic Party and one of the primary function I found myself or I took the responsibility is to do voter registration and we did it very successfully. And uh, I ran for US Congress in 2016 and our team, we increased the number of votes for the Democratic Party in Gwinnett County and District 7 by 55,000 votes approximately. I also ran as a candidate for House of Representative and also Georgia House of Representative. I ran in the Congress in 2016, as I said, and I received 114,220 votes, and that is 45% of Gwinnett County voters in 2016. I have traveled widely, and I wrote a, wrote a book on Chinese entrepreneurship. I strongly believe on entrepreneurship, and I believe that we can develop the economy of our country through peace via trade. If given the opportunity, I'll be promoting economic development vigorously through the economic model of peace by trade. Thank you. God bless America. Hello, my name is Brenda Lopez Romero, and I'm running to be your next Congresswoman for the 7th. I currently am a state representative from Winnet County and serve as the first Latina elected to the Georgia General Assembly. I have a specialization in national security and counterterrorism law from Syracuse University. And for the last 15 years, I have been an organizer here in Forsyth and Winnet fighting for equity public education, universal health care, and also fighting against discriminatory legislation and racial profiling. And what's most important that I bring to this seat to become a credible legislator to deal with important domestic and national issues are also my lived experiences. I grew up from a family that was working class and blue collar workers. And from there, I learned the importance and value of giving to others and bettering ourselves. That is why I support public education because I became the first person in my family to graduate from college and graduate from law school. Although I had to take in loans that quite frankly are there for the rest of my life. That is why I support funding our public institutions to provide tuition free college and technical education and also to ensure that we have student debt relief for those based on their income earned after graduation or going into careers such as teaching, public service, public health, or public safety. In addition to that, we were never able to afford health care growing up despite the fact that my parents worked full time. That is why I support Medicare for All who want it to ensure that we have health care coverage regardless of your income or your employer. And finally, I have been supportive of comprehensive immigration reform and the DREAM Act since 2005 because as an immigrant that was formerly undocumented and being able to grow with this American dream and be able to share it with every other person and every other American, it's the why I am doing this work.